Hey y'all, my name is Miranda and I'm a yoga teacher based in Asheville, North Carolina. I'm also the owner and founder of Namaste in Nature. We combine yoga, hiking, and meditation with the most incredible mountains, waterfalls, sunsets, and full moons in Western North Carolina. So if you'd like to join us here for a yoga hike, uh, go to namasteinnature.com. So I truly believe that yoga is for every body and every pose might look or feel different in every body. I can only personally experience yoga through my own body, but I've had many requests for um, alternatives and modifications to poses that might be more challenging for other bodies. So today I'd like to share with you guys a few alternatives for child's pose. Now, child's pose or balasana is supposed to be a restful pose, but if you have knee issues, maybe you had knee surgery in the past, um, maybe some arthritis, maybe you're in a bigger body, and child's pose just doesn't feel very restful for you, here are some alternatives for that pose. This is why I have a few props here with me today. So, first of all, normal child's pose, I'll show you here. Normal child's pose, we're on our, we have the hips back towards the heels, and then we lean forward and extend the hands forward and bring the forehead down to the mat. Okay, now, if this doesn't work for you, there are a few alternatives you can try, and props can be really helpful for this. So first you can use a yoga blanket to roll that up. Put it behind your knees. That'll give you a little bit of cushion. And then you can sit the hips back. This will take some of the pressure off your knees and legs. And then if you still feel like there's too much weight bearing down on uh, the front of your body and your head and your neck, you can bring the hands forward and rest your hands on your head. So this is a great modification for child's pose if you have a blanket available. Of course you can also try this without a blanket. Maybe spread the knees a little bit wider. So you also may want to practice outdoors. This may relieve some of the tension on your joints and knees, since the ground can be softer than a hard indoor concrete or wood floor. Okay, another alternative is to use some blocks. So let's put the blanket back here underneath the knees and you can lay your head on a couple of blocks. This way the head is in line with the hips and it takes some of the pressure off your neck and shoulders and head. Okay, so another alternative here. Maybe this just doesn't work for you at all um, on your knees. So the final option I'd like to offer is to do child's pose on your back. So just flip over onto your back here, bring the knees up, and you can either rest your hands on your legs, or you can rest them by your sides. You can kind of have your knees out to the sides or bring them to center, whatever feels best for your body. gives you some alternatives for child's pose if you find it uh, painful for your knees. And I always like to distinguish in yoga the difference between discomfort and pain. So in some poses we might have a little bit of discomfort due to um, tightness in the fascia or the muscles. 
that can be relieved over time and as your body gets used to these stretches. But if it's really painful, um, you know, and you know you've had specific injuries or things in your body that prevent you from doing this pose, these are some great alternatives. Again, this video is made by request, so if you have more requests or questions, please put them in the comments below. My goal is to make yoga more accessible and more enjoyable for everyone. Please subscribe to my channel for more yoga videos filmed in nature. Hope to see you next time. Namaste and have a great day.